most efforts to change schools in the 1900s were launched by what they called the policy talkers. Now a policy talker could be a governor, could be a president, could be a commissioner of education, could be an evangelist, I suppose, like myself and others that go around advocating for school change. But the point that they conclude in the book is that most efforts to change public schools that have been launched by the policy talkers have died on the front steps of the schoolhouse. In other words, a policy talker can drive it all the way to the front door. But once it gets to the door, the lesson we've learned is that if it isn't, if whatever the idea is, if it isn't invited in, in good faith by the men and women who work in that school that have to do the implementing of whatever the nature of the change is, it's not going to be sustainable.